Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable and disable clips in Premiere Pro the correct way. So most people, they come over to the left hand side where these eyedroppers are and they simply click them to disable their clip and then click them again to enable their clip. And this can be really annoying if you're editing a lot of clips, especially if, you're if you guys are editing music videos and you have like 20 plus clips on the timeline. It's too many clicks, you've got to press it twice, quite annoying. So if you disable that clip using the eyedropper, the clip is still enabled, so your computer will still run the file. So if you guys aren't running proxies and you have a 4K file there and you just hide it while using the eyedropper, your computer will still think that that clip is still playing even though it's hidden. Um, and also if you've got a segment like this here and there's multiple clips layered on each other using the eyedropper and then if you want to see your other clip is impossible, you can't do that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it the correct way. We're going to head over to Premiere Pro at the top left, go to Keyboard Shortcuts, and this tab should pop up. Mine's going to look a bit different, but don't worry. Come up to this uh, search icon and type in Enable. So type in Enable, and by here you can see mine is bound to E. Yours is probably going to be different. I'm just going to be Shift Tab or something, so change it. I put mine to E for Enable, but you guys can change this to any key you want. Just bear in mind if you change it to a key, it might change your keybinds on something else. Come down and press OK. And now when you click on a clip, uh, we're just going to press E and it literally disables the clip completely. So it's a lot easier. As you can see, I'm just disabling all the clips really easily. And then if you want to do them in bulk as well, you can just use your mouse and just drag over and then press E again so it enables multiple. Same if you want to disable them, drag them all and press E. So it's really useful, it's really quick as well. This will save you so much time editing. Same over here as well, if I'm playing some clips and I want to see that, I don't want to see that one, I'm just going to press E, disable it, then I can enable it again. Instead of going over to the eyedrop, it's going to save you so much time. So if that did help you, that little shortcut, let me know. Put it in the comments below if you want to see some more shortcuts like this, because I've got loads of other shortcuts to show you guys. Um, remember keep creating guys and I'll uh, see you in the next one